Hey guys, it's Gio from Smart Home Makers. Today we're testing two very different systems, If This Then That and Home Assistant. In the video, we'll be turning on lights, turning on heating, and playing some music from Sonos Speaker. Is the light gonna turn blue for Home Assistant, or is it gonna turn green for If This Then That? We're gonna see which device responds quickest, and we're actually gonna talk about how to create these scenes or applets, and we're gonna talk about actual technical part towards the end of the video to see actually why there's such a difference between the two. There are obviously a lot of differences between the two systems, but in this video, we're just gonna look at it from someone coming brand, brand new to smart home and just wanna turn on a light bulb or play some music. So let's roll the intro. So in our first test today, we're gonna to see which color this Philips Hue Play is going to turn. So blue is gonna be from Home Assistant and green, for if to send that. So I'm gonna tap both at the same time. I'm gonna see what color this goes first. On the right hand side here, we have home system with scenes. On the left hand side, we have if with a button widget ready to go. Three, two, one. So we have a blue and a green. Okay, so home assistant is in front by at least a, a couple of seconds and a half. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it off. So we're gonna start off again and we're gonna go three to one again. So we're three, two, one. And green. So Home Assistant is basically has little to no delay at all compared to uh, if this then that. Let me try one more time. So I'm getting ready, three, two, one. Blue again. and now green. The actual delay the last time was actually longer than the first two. So in our second test, we're gonna look at heating. So we're gonna look at this Tado TRV and we've got on our left-hand side here, if this and that, and on the right-hand side, we've got Home Assistant as before. In this example, we're looking for uh, what set temperature this is going to get. So Home Assistant is gonna set it to 22 degrees and if this then that, it's gonna set it to 15. And if I move it currently, you'll see the current currently set at 19 degrees. So we're gonna see which one of the two is able to set this fastest. Okay, so we're ready to go. Three, two, one. So I can see it went to 22. Twenty-two, it's gone down to fifteen. Okay. Okay, so both will work at the same time. Home Assistant is in the lead. This time it looks like by um, maybe a second more compared to lights, but let's give it a couple of more goes just to see if it averages out. So we're gonna try again, three, two, one. Temperature at 22, down to 15, down to 15. Okay, so we saw it beautifully. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just do one by one on its own to see if there's not a uh, an issue with, uh, you know, an impact by running them both at the same time. So we've got the TRV set to 19 degrees. We get a tap, if this then that, and we're gonna see how long it takes to set us to 15. So tap there, executed, and it's down to 15. Okay, so let's reset it again. And let's go with Home Assistant. So it's currently 19 degrees. I'm going to tap it, three, two, one. 22. So I think even separately, um, Home Assistant is a clear winner. Always guys, if you're getting value out of the video, then like and consider subscribing if you like the sort of content. And let's keep going with these tests. Okay, so my third and last test of today, we're going to look at Sonos. So we're going to see which song is going to play first. Now I'm going to play you the two songs that I'm going to play. First song I'm playing now is from Home Assistant, is what Home Assistant is going to be playing. And if this then that on the left hand side here, is going to be playing the song that I'm playing now. So let's give it a go and let's see which one actually gets there first. So I've got my hands ready to go. I'm going to go three, two, one. Okay, so we have Home Assistant first, if this and that second, 
uh, num I think there's a second delay, so let me just stop this from the Sonus app. Okay, so we stopped it again. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to if this and that. We've got Home Assistant again. We're gonna try again to see if there's any difference. So let's do it for the second time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it's a very similar result. So let's try one more time. So the last time. So as you can see, the actual Sonus player is actually set at this song, the X-Ray Vision song. So if this then that might have a slight edge, but still Home Assistant is able to actually get there suit faster. So let's try again. For so let's try for the last time now. Three, two, one, go. So I think we can clearly establish that Home Assistant is a clear winner out of these three tests. So now in this diagram, I'm gonna show you how the actual device is connected to the light bulb to actually turn it on. So let's start with Home Assistant. So Home Assistant, as you remember, was an app installed on an iPad and that iPad was sending that scene command. So what happened with the data? It traveled through Home Assistant. It went to my Home Assistant server, which is a QNAP NAS, which is just upstairs. From there, it went and communicated directly to the Philips Hue Bridge, which is that device that you buy when you buy the starter kit with the bulbs. And that device is actually um, like a few centimeters apart from the NAS, so they like literally um, close to each other on the same switch. So then the information goes to the Philips Hue Bridge, which that is has an IP address and it's uh, connected. And then that in turn sends that message to that light bulb, which was that uh, play, uh, Philips Hue play that you saw turning blue for in terms of home assistant. So that's how that communication happened, and that would happen without the actual internet being on. The reason why if this then that took actually longer is that it connects to its server, and this server we just say is in the cloud. But basically it's outside of our own network, it's some server somewhere in the world. And this server, which is represented here, then connects to another server, which is actually Philips Hue Cloud, so they need to talk to each other. And in that way it sort of knows where the bridge is. If not, you wouldn't have any idea where the bridge is. So then it knows that the bridge is actually uh, at my home. So it connects to the bridge, then the bridge actually sends a signal to the bulb. So the last part is the same. So that gives you an idea of why Home Assistant will be always be more performant and it will be also more responsive in communication just because of the technology and also more reliable because you're not relying on external servers because whatever happens between these two if these ser the servers go down or they decide not to talk to each other anymore for example if there's some sort of uh, contract disagreement between the two companies this actually might not what stop working anymore i'm not going to hide it to you there is a bit of a learning curve to home assistant but it is really really worth it and I would suggest that you go to watch either this playlist or this video here to actually get started. If you need any help from myself, you can leave a comment down in the description below. But there's also a lot of really smart people around in YouTube, Reddit, Facebook, uh, you name it. So if you really want to start with Home Assistant, then this is the best time to do it is right now.